The surface world had become inhospitable, a desolate wasteland ravaged by centuries of ecological exploitation. Jacob belonged to one of the few remaining outposts of humanity, forced to seek refuge deep underground in the vast subterranean caverns that honeycombed the planet's depths. Their enclave had thus far avoided detection from the nightmarish horrors that now ruled the overworld. Vicious, mutated abominations born from humanity's unchecked greed and disregard for the environment. Creatures whose cunning and aggression made them terrifyingly efficient hunters of man. Yet supplies were running perilously low. With each passing cycle, the weak, reverberating groans echoing from the empty surface grew harder to ignore. Jacob knew they could not survive much longer without venturing up to scavenge what meager resources might remain. Despite his elders' warnings about the topside perils, Jacob resolved to make the journey. If their people had any hope of clinging to existence, he would risk everything to brave the labyrinthine depths and unmapped tunnels in search of salvation. Donning his environmental suit, he bid farewell to his loved ones the hollow fear lacing their eyes a sobering reminder of what hunted above. Jacob activated the airlock's grinding mechanism and began his ascent, steady bootsteps carrying him upwards into the shadowed unknown. The tunnels seemed to shift and contort around him, their twisting geometries echoing with distant scratches and skitterings. More than once he froze, certain he felt the hostile presence of unseen observers borrowing through the peripheral dark. At last, Jacob breached the surface under a putrid, gaseous sky. The landscape's desolation defied description. A maze of shattered, poisoned wastes littered with the rusted skeletons of the old world. Somewhere within that blasted expanse lay the path to his people's survival, or their final oblivion at the hands of its terrifying inheritors. Jacob switched on his helmet's multispectrum scanners and advanced grimly into the irradiated haze, his footprints the first human sign in a civilization's graveyard for untold generations. Jacob's bootsteps crunched through layers of debris, the ruins' eerie silence shattered only by the static hiss of gamma particles bombarding his protective shielding. The desolation seemed to stretch infinitely in all directions, mocking his faint hope of locating salvageable resources. Just as he was preparing to turn back, his sensors pulsed with a promising reading, organic traces amid the industrial rubble up ahead. Moving cautiously through the toxic haze, Jacob soon discerned the shapes of withered plant life clinging to existence around a faintly trickling source. A wellspring, one of the few remaining underpolluted aquifers on the surface world. With trembling hands, Jacob extracted sampling vials and collection apparatus, recognizing this discovery's life-sustaining value for his struggling people. So engrossed was he in processing the pure water and hardy vegetation, that he failed to notice the ominous rhythmic tremors rippling across the desolate plain until it was too late. His motion tracker blazed with multiple trajectories converging on his location at terrifying speed. The horrors came into view far sooner than he could react. Twisted, chittering forms of bony anger propelled on whiplash limbs and compound eyes glaring with ravenous malice. Jacob's blood turned to ice as the snarling horrors closed in, ignoring his wild, frantic blasts. Then, just as all hope appeared lost, a roar of mechanical fury drowned out the monster's screeching. From beneath a rockfall burst a battered but remarkably intact military robotic walker, one of the old world's last mechanical guardians, reactivated by desperation's fading spark. With a blinding light scatter of plasma fire, the hunter-killer's archaic systems prioritized Jacob and established a survival parameter, scouring the wasteland of the shrieking mutant horrors even as its own armored carapace began disintegrating from the onslaught. At last, the coast was clear, save for the Guardian's hulking wreckage towering over Jacob's prone form. With its last measure of power, it transmitted downloading coordinates marking the only known human outpost, before shutting down, one final noble act of fealty to its long-dead military handlers. Jacob clutched the life-saving spoils to his heaving chest, knowing the outpost's potential rediscovery had renewed humanity's flicker against the dying world's inexorable ashes. They would endure, or die with stubborn grace in the attempt.